Mr. President, South Africa finds itself in a crisis. 17 million South Africans are sitting at home now, wondering if whether their social grants are going to be paid. The question speaks about accountability, and it's what I want to talk, to, to talk about. Because, in fact, the Constitutional Court said for almost three years that Minister Batabile Damini has defied the, the court. In fact, Chief Justice Mukweng Mukweng yesterday, without precluding the judgment, said she is incompetent, was the word he used. Now, Mr. President, she's ignored several legal warnings. She's clearly putting 17 million South Africans' lives at risk. Now, I think you've issued the statement to say grants will be paid on the 1st of April. That's not the question. My question I want to know is whether or not if somebody can bring South Africa to such a situation and ignore the constitutional court and act as a minister and evade all accountability, do you not believe, along with the call that Kosatu has made, you defended them now, Kosatu has called for her to be removed, South Africans are calling for her to be removed. I'm certainly one of those saying she must be removed. Do you not believe it's time for you to act and remove Minister Batabile Zamini from cabinet to save that South Africa? Order. The Honorable the President. <clears throat> well, thank you. Thank you, uh, <clears throat> Madam Speaker. Uh, I thought the date that we are talking about has not arrived. The 1st of April. Now, this is another kind of democracy. That if you suspect that somebody is going to fail or make a mistake, you must punish that person before it happens. It's a funny democracy. <clears throat> it's one thing is one thing if people raise the issue that, look, we are likely to get into trouble because we suspect that things might not be done, etc. But to act as if the first has come and pensioners, grants have not been given, and therefore you must take action. I'm saying it's a funny democracy that says punish a person before they commit a mistake. I've never understood. I thought what this country is doing has been including the courts is to address that issue so that we are not going to experience that kind of situation. And that's what the courts have been doing. And I have been briefed by the ministers what they have been doing. In fact, there was at one point a tender out which was not taken by the bidders. And therefore, they had to start afresh again. There were very specific problems. I got detailed briefing from both the departments, social development and, and the treasury. It's not that they were sitting doing nothing all the time. There was, in fact, at one point, a tender to address that to, in other words, comply to the order of court. There were specific hitches that made this not happen at the time. And now they are dealing with it. As I'm talking to you, Treasury, social development are sitting together to solve the problem. So why punish somebody before anything happens? It's a funny democracy, funny, funny legal system that a person before committing a crime must then be judged and be punished. Pooh, you are a Democrat. I thought you stick to democracy and the rule of law. The rule of law does not say you punish a person because you suspect that a person is going to commit a crime. That's not the rule of law. It's almost like the, the law of the jungle. I get on to you as soon as I think you are almost, I suspect you are about to commit a crime. Then you are punished. No, sir. I disagree, honorable member. There's no crisis. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honorable Nkomo.